Hi, who are you and where are you from? My name is Daniela and I grew up between Montana and California. And I'm currently working as a staff member in the English department. Where? At Harvard. We're in Harvard Square. So that was a, uh, so, and um, between Montana and California. Yeah. That's a big area. You don't want. It but, is, yeah. Okay. And, um, but a lot of nature there. How is uh, climate? uh changed since you were a kid yeah it has been getting increasingly extreme with every season it seems like in montana we're seeing a lot more flooding and a lot more flooding yeah the rivers have been changing course quite a bit and it's been eroding a lot of the soil along the riverbanks which has been causing really really major flood damage in major towns that depend on tourism for their economies. And so right along, say, in the town Gardner, Montana, there the Yellowstone flooded, and it completely shut down tourism for peak season in the summer because there was no tourism through Gardner, through that main pass. And so that Harvard town that relies on tourism as their main industry in the summer they had to essentially just hang tight for another year to wait until this upcoming summer. And it's a very stressful time over there. And as far as California goes, uh, I mean, the fires speak for themselves, but there have also been major beach erosion along the coastline. And the beaches are getting narrower and narrower, and it's affecting a lot of train lines in the area that run along the coast as well. Wow. Wow. And I'm about, uh, I mean, has it affected your personal life uh, or uh, everyday kind of life or, or is it kind of an intellectual thing for you or are you concerned every day? You know, you are pretty overall concerned about it. I'm pretty concerned overall. I am. I wouldn't say I feel it on a daily basis necessarily, but if I do take time to think about mineral depletion in our soil and the health effects that can um, cause, then I do see it. It just takes a little bit of digging to start noticing it. And when you start digging, you start seeing it. And then uh, what about the future? Should we be optimistic, pessimistic? Um, I don't necessarily think that the actions of individuals is going to solve the problem so in that sense there's not a whole lot that private individuals can do they think a lot of it does rest in the hands of larger corporations to and policymakers to create policies that are going to be able to shape our future and we do vote for we have power in our vote but i i feel somewhat pessimistic with feeling like my power is rather limited and you think it has to be handled on a governmental level and 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 I think to a certain degree it does. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, how concerned are you about the environment? I'm like right at a nine point five. I don't necessarily think it's going to, you know, come to an end in five years, or maybe not in my lifetime, but it's not looking good. Any final thoughts? I hope everyone has a good day on that note. <laughs> Thank you very much from Harvard Square. Thank you very much. Thank you.